It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up. And that's good. And they're going to need about four. This place is rocking. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Inside the 10. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. Price drops to throw. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Here. Touchdown, deep. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Before and halftime. Carries and he gets it up, and it is good. And for Wake Forest, it was a first half that saw them surrender numerous big plays. Their coaching staff made that a focal point in their halftime adjustments. Guys? And a huge touchdown play. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Slings it. Touchdown, UNC. Make it. Here's the tailback. Touchdown. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 38-16. And the ball game's over. The Tar Heels come out on top. 38-16. And the Demon Deacons. 16. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. For Bernard, his efforts today have earned him player of the game.